Uh, so JS Lipid, to be quick, it's something that um, I had a quick poke at a while ago, and I haven't made much more progress uh, since because the other things got in the way. But anyway, quick, what is quick? It's a new UDP-based UDP UDP uh, transport. It's still in draft format. Um, it's UDP, but it has the guarantees of TCP and TLS built in. One important part about it is that it allows out-of-order packets, which, uh, which eliminates the head-of-line uh, problem thing. So that's great. Um, there's an implementation in Node.js being built by James Snell. It is there. It is being sponsored by Protocol Labs and, uh, uh, and Nearform. Uh, so you should check that out if you're interested. Also, uh, James wrote a really informative blog post about it very recently. You should check that out as well. Um, so anyway, JS libp to be quick. What happened? Uh, well, I cloned that repo. I managed to figure out how to compile node from source uh, and importantly enable quick which wasn't that wasn't obvious for some reason considering this is the only purpose of that fork um, <laughs> uh, and then and then I quickly kind of created a, a, a kind of lip to be transport um, I used some uh, some SSL keys that I found in the node.js repo and <laughs> uh, uh, and got them to connect together and uh, and send some data, uh, and that's freaking awesome. <laughs> but that's like ha less than ha a quarter of the story. Um, the the next step was to actually generate a uh, an SSL certificate from our, a peer ID, um, and then after like messing around with many crypto libraries in JavaScript, the crypto libraries are so poorly documented; it's <laughs> unreal. Um, but like, look, I created this cert.cert, dot cert, um, and and OpenSSL seems to be able to read it. Uh, and the awesome thing about this is uh, is this extension thing here, which I found. And uh, and it's interesting because if you plug it into this like old '90s website, uh, you get Protocol Labs come up and Raoul's name. <laughs> And I was like, oh, wow, I didn't know that had happened. But there we go. Um, so I managed, to, I managed to get a peer ID to, into a certificate, which I think is the same as what Go generates, um, because I checked the Go code. Um, and so the next part is to do the opposite and then read the certificate and extract the peer ID, I guess. I'm not entirely sure, because I haven't done any more work on it. Um, but it's happening here in this repository. Um, and uh, that's, that's all I have for now. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>